Our focus is on the weather. We've got a lot going on. Yeah, talking temperature, but yeah. also the possibility of a return of storms. You know, yesterday was a busy day, but mm -hmm. depends where you were, because Indianapolis barely got any rain, and it was the stretch from Terre Haute to Bloomington. Could see a similar setup for today, but I do want to emphasize the severe threat is lower for today. Now, the look across the Midwest, showing our low pressure system. We're dealing with some light showers, a few downpours this morning. But as this low pressure system gets closer and closer, it's in Iowa right now, through the afternoon, our rain chances ramp up afternoon into the evening hours. I did mention we've had some of the light showers. The bulk of it has been focused this morning south of I-70. We're starting to see that light rain erode from our map. And then some downpours north of Indianapolis. We had some of those light showers go through the metro area. Well, now it looks like a couple lightning strikes near Elwood. Tipton getting in on some of the heavier rain. Kokomo about to get in on heavier rain through the next half hour or so. The threat this morning, we're not dealing with the severe threat this morning. The marginal risk is for this afternoon. It once again includes Columbus, Bloomington, Washington, and Richmond. And the focus is just going to be south of I-70, a slight risk posted in the states to our south and east. Futurecast for today has some of those light showers, the downpours through the morning. We get into the afternoon. As that low pressure system arrives along the cold front, we'll kick up some showers and storms once again. I'd put the highest chances of rain this afternoon into the early evening. And then as that system exits, the bulk of the rainfall should be done by 8, 9 o'clock in southeastern Indiana. Then we're just clearing out through the early morning hours. May also have some patchy fog. So today with the precipitation chances, highest through the mid-afternoon, early evening, dropping off through the overnight hours. Temperature right now is at 71 degrees. We're going to struggle for today. I know we have the rain icons in there through most of today. It is not going to be an all-day type rain. In between some of these showers and storms, likely hanging on to the clouds. Temperatures into the lower 80s for highs. Humid, 79 in Muncie for today, 78 in Kokomo, 81 in Terre Haute, and 81 in Bloomington. Rainfall totals, this is the general thinking, and I agree with our future cast model here. A tenth to a half inch for central Indiana may have some locally higher amounts depending if you're in a thunderstorm, similar to what we saw yesterday. And tonight, we're into the lower 60s as those clouds decrease. May have some patchy fog through the early morning. Tomorrow's going to be fantastic. Plenty of sunshine, winds out of the north to northeast, and temperatures returning in the low to mid 80s. The bigger thing for tomorrow is comfortable humidity moves in behind that front. In the next five days, with our humidity tracker, Briefly in the comfortable category, we'll climb back into the uncomfortable category Friday afternoon. Next storm system approaches on Saturday, and that's going to kick up our humidity, increase it through Saturday. Futurecast shows that next system that's on the way will be a cold front pushing through the area on Saturday. May, in fact, arrive a little bit early on Friday night. We'll have to wait and see as we get closer here. Hensley Legal Group 8-day forecast. Watching the marginal risk of severe weather for today in the afternoon and evening. Damaging wind would be the primary threat with any storms that do form this afternoon. Mostly sunny skies for Thursday. Clouds increasing on the back half of Friday. Scattered chance of rain on Saturday. And temperatures as we start to look ahead to next week, beginning of July, temperatures into the 90s. Another chance at showers and storms next Wednesday. You're watching Wish TV. We are.